My name is Jacob Pendeli. I was born in Salonika, Greece. I'm a survivor of Auschwitz. I'm the only one of the family that survived. My family came to Salonika uh, during the occupation of Greece from the Turks, uh, the Ottoman Empire. My family came from Spain in the beginning of the 16th century from Catalonia. And my, my, I have a son who made an investigation uh, when he was a student, and we know exactly from where our family came from. Since the beginning of the 16th century, my family lived in Salonika until 1943. I have to tell you about my family. Uh, I had uh, my father, of course, and my mother. I had uh, two brothers, three, she's, three she's sisters, and uh, I. In other words, I have two older brothers, which one of them fought against the Italians, against the uh, Mussolini that wanted to have Greece. And he was wounded. He got the highest decoration as a, a young Jew that he fought against the, the, the Italians, against the fascists. The fight took place not in Italy and not in Greece. The fight took place in Albania. And uh, the Mussolini uh, took first Albania, and it was for him easier to, through Albania to get into Greece. The dream of Mussolini was that he wanted Greece. And, uh, but uh, the, the, the Italians are not fighters. The Italians uh, uh, tried to, to win, but it was almost impossible. So they asked the, the help of the Germans. And so the Germans, with the, with the uh, very, very uh, uh, quick way of doing it, they went through Bulgaria, not through Albania, but through Bulgaria. The king, the king of Bulgaria was a friend of, of Hitler. And so the, uh, the, the entrance to, to Greece was open to him. And so we were occupied by, by the Germans. Now, what the Germans did, they, they took Greece and they divide in three pieces. The biggest part of it was given to the Italians because they started the war. The second part was the Bulgarians because they were allied to the Germans, so a part of Greece was given to Bulgarians. And the Macedonia, the birthplace of, uh, of Alexander the Great, which the main city is Thessaloniki, uh, was in the hands, to my sorry, in the hands of the Germans. Now, in Salonika, there were 55,000 Jews. All Greece together was something like 70, 72,000. Out of 72,000, 55 were in one city, the city of Salonika or Thessaloniki. Now, they, they used to say that Salonika is a Judenstadt, meaning in German, a, a, the city of the Jewish people. During the Ottoman Empire, Salonika, the port of Salonika, which was the second largest port in the Ottoman Empire, was in Salonika. Salonika was the only city that Saturday, Shabbat, from Friday afternoon until Sunday, the port, the second largest port, was closed because 99% of the workers were all Jews.
So uh, this, this, this was a Jewish city. By all means, this was a Jewish city. And the Turks, not the Turks of today, the Turks were very good to the Jews. Not only they let them come and they allowed them to, to buy land, to build houses, to synagogues, anything they want. And then you saw the economy of Spain went all the way down because the Jews left and the, the economy of, of Turkey, uh, meaning Salonika and, and so on, went all the way up. This was the center of business between Europe and, and the, the port of Salonika. Now, my, my, as I told you, my parents came from Catalonia, and every wee wave of, of the sea, this is how this was explained, brought another part of Spain. And each one of those Spanish cities, they came and settled in Salonica, and they built a synagogue in the name, let's say, uh, uh, Catalon Hadash, Catalon Yeshan, there, there were two waves. And in the, the ha Catalon Hadash, my family came. The job of my family was to work in the cemetery. Uh, there were two handlers in, in, in Salonica. One of them was a winemaker which is very important because the Christians and the Jews use a, a wine. And the other Salonica, the, the, the other family, my family, they you, used to be called, we used to say, from which, which handily are you? So I'd say, wine. No, my, my family came not from wine, but, but from making the tombs not the upper part of the tomb. You understand? Only the, the, the building of the tomb. And the upper part, it's a different business because you have to know Hebrew, you have to uh, carve the, the, the names of the people who are buried there. And uh, so this was my family. From this kind of uh, job, my father, decide that he is going to go to building material, building material for, for, for the tombs. And he, he had two partners with the name of Zakai, and they wanted to also, my family and the two partners, they thought they don't want to stay in Salonika anymore. I'm talking about 38, 39, Hitler came to position in 33. So many Jewish people, German Jewish people with money, they came to Palestine. My father got a certificate and his partner got a certificate and there were two brothers. So one of them went to Tel, to Tel Aviv to buy a piece of land where we can start the business because, because they, they, the, the German Jews started to build. And uh, in the meantime, he used to write to us, uh, the partner of my father, he used to write that uh, this is not the right time to come to Palestine. Why? Because the, the Arabs are shooting from uh, Jaffa. And Jaffa Tel Aviv today is one city, but in those days they used to shoot from from uh, Jaffa to Tel Aviv. So don't come now. We we'll wait another few few another month, another month, another month. Then the, the the war started in Greece, the Italians again, and so we got stuck in in Greece. 